What's up, everybody? Um, welcome back to my finale of Metroid Zero Mission. I'm collecting the last bit of items that I couldn't get with, um, you know, the space jump and, you know, um, the gravity suit. So we're in Ridley's hideout, aka Lower North Fair, and we're gonna get the pair of missiles that are in the lower left hand corner of of the map. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot of, I had to do a lot of editing <laughs> in this uh, video. So, I figure I'd just do the uh, voiceover. Do the voice, uh, do my commentary after I'm done editing the video here. Okay, so we're gonna have to shine spark on that platform I was just standing on. Jump up here. This will give us our, uh, I guess, runway. We want to drop down, shine spark through the map room. Drop down, and then you want to, yeah, shine spark up. Roll into a ball, power grip. don't have to shoot that with some with a missile I don't know why I did now, this is gonna be a little sloppy here um, it is smart to let off a power bomb here just to show the uh, uncover like the blocks like there's the fall through you guys shoot uh, there's three blocks over to the left where you have to shoot your missiles um, so you want to drop down and shoot diagonally either down or up depending whether you're above or below this block here okay I chose to shoot down <laughs> this is a little sloppy here. So, maybe power bomb to get rid of those two blocks up top. Hurry up and shoot a missile. Oh, I almost lost it there. Okay, here we go. I shoot. Now I have it here. Okay. I had it. I should have just waited for those blocks to show back up and just landed on it, you know, in the morph ball form. But I don't know why I... I didn't wait long enough. And then I'm trying to do it again. See, I had it here too, and then like an idiot, I let off another power bomb. I don't know why I did that. So I had it twice, and I screwed it up. And I'm trying to jump and get it. It's like, dude, you have the space jump. Use it. There we go. Alright, so now we're heading to the lower right-hand corner of Ridley Side Out, and we're going to get another pair of missiles. So we need three more total. The last one's really going to be easy to get. I just wanted to get these four harder ones out of the way. We're gonna we're going counterclockwise. Let's shine spark all the way over, which I've did I've done earlier in my playthrough. So now we're gonna have to shine spark through the uh, save room. Well, kind of hold it through the save room. Alright, here we go. Oh yeah, you want to shine spark, yeah, up this ramp. Over the save. Yeah, here we go. And jump up. And shine spark over to the right, through the wall. Now here you're gonna do a shine spark again. You're gonna have to run, hit down, roll into a ball, and shine spark up. Now this could be tricky here, you want to roll into a ball and whenever you bomb you want to try to roll on these platforms. And you want to hurry up and space jump before the platform uh, disappears. Below is fall through blocks as you can see. We'll have to do it all over again. So here's our missile here. 
Now the next missile, I don't know, you might you might find it easy. It drives me insane. I don't know how many tr takes I had to uh, do to finally get it. But you want to run, shine spark up, don't shine spark out to the left. You want to shine spark up and uh, go as far over to the left as you can. Run, you want to just keep shooting, keep shooting. There's going to be two sets of blocks. You want to destroy that, then shoot a missile real quick and jump at the last possible moment where, that, where the floor ramps up. Because if you do it early, you'll screw up. Those are all shine spark blocks, speed booster blocks. So you could speed boost out of there and let's get our last missile. It's really easy to get. It's in the top right hand corner. Just space jump up. Here we are. So that is all the items in Ridley's hideout. I'll show it on the map. That's it. 3, 13, and 3. So next we're going to be heading to Lower Brinstar. Well, first we're going to go to Norfair. I'm going to show you the shortcut. I let out a power bomb here. You don't have to. You just have to power grip up. So we're heading to Lower Brinstar, a.k.a. Kraid's hideout, through Norfair. This is the shortcut that I showed off before. You end up in the save room in uh, Kraid's hideout. Yeah, this is funny here. I got the screw attack now. I destroy these blocks. I'm just trying to get on the zip line here. <laughs> like, what the hell? I just keep destroying them. And then I thought about it. I'm like, can't you just space jump to the other side without the zip line? But then I'm thinking about it. And I think you would destroy this block right here. Right there. So I don't know if that's possible. But anyways, we're heading over. We're getting, we just need one missile. All we need. I'm, it's that door there. I go up to the first left. That's not where we want to go. We want to drop down to the second left doorway. So it's right in this acid here. Bomb down. So we want a morph ball, a uh, shine spark in the morph ball form. Here we go. Shine spark over to the right, go up the ramp. There you go. I think you can shine spark where that block's at too. Shine spark back up, maybe. I don't know. I shoot a missile off of. But that is it. I think we're gonna head to terrain next. Get the last two items there, so that takes care of crates hideout. Yep, terrain is our next destination. We just have one missile and one. Uh, Power bomb, I believe. Now I wanted to show this off. We're right out of Crate's hideout here. We're gonna show an easier way to get to terrain now that we have power bombs from right at the beginning. Wonder how Samus got down here from her ship straight to uh, Brinstar. So yeah, this is a speed booster cannon up. So this takes you back to Criteria. Not sure ha how Samus got down here without the power bombs in the beginning of the game. You know, that's video game logic for you. So you want to power bomb through this rock. And if you head over to the right, this is our evac evacuation route when we kill the mother brain. So right on the other side here would be the ship, if we still had a ship. Damn space pirates. So we want to head back to terrain. So yeah, right below there is our our way back down to Brenstar. So that was her route that you never saw in the beginning of the game.
Okay, so here's the shaft, the evacuation shaft. It's all destroyed. Now you actually want to shine spark over where new terrain would be in Super Metroid. Over to the left here, I show it off. You just power bomb, you'll see the speed booster blocks. Yeah, this that would be the evacuation route into a new terrain at the end of Super Metroid. I was gonna say Super Metroid 2. Super Metroid. <laughs> You see that there's now gr like a green acid that will hurt you. So just shoot super missile where the mother brain was at, just like the original game. But instead of a missile, we have a power bomb. Yeah, that liquid. I think that's the only liquid that will hurt you now. The gravity suit will not protect you. So this is pretty tricky. You want to shine spark and just space jump all the way through avoiding the obstacles go through the wall and we'll get our last item of the game it's a missile tank it is right over to the right just bomb there you go so i'm going to show you everything in every area terrain we got it well come on let's go back okay terrain chozodia criteria brenstar crade Norfair, Redley, everything is checkmarked. So we now have 100% of everything in the game. So we're going to head back. Well, before we do that, I show off terrain after uh, we killed the mother brain and the uh, self, you know, the evacuation, self destruct sequence went off. This whole part's destroyed, but if you go through, if you go past the save room, everything is intact. There's not Cheerios or anything shooting, you know, from the ceiling. But not everything blew up. Everything looks the same, but there's no more Metroids, no more Cheerios. Which I find pretty odd. You know, the cutscene sh was showing, you know, the whole planet of Zebes, you know, exploding. But it's really only like three rooms that really were affected. Everything else is intact. Yeah, so you don't have to worry about any of the uh, Cheerios or Metroids attacking you. They have been all wiped out. Yeah, I had to record some filler, you know, in the episode. I didn't want this episode to be extremely short, but well, it's going to be like 24 minutes anyway, so. Okay, I just wanted to show that off, and we're, we are heading back to the mothership in Chozodia to take on the final boss. We've been here before, I actually got an energy tank in this uh, next room here. I'll bomb to show you. Right here, that is where the um, second to last energy tank that I got. So what, right over here to the right is going to be our final fight. I'm not the best, but... I got it done. Do you hear some screeching? What is this? Screech, screech. Get the oil can. It's Meta Ridley. Now that swipe, if he hits you with that swipe, man, that takes a lot of, it takes like an energy tank per swipe. So avoid that. Just keep space jumping. You want to kind of start out, I mean, I guess it doesn't matter. Most people I've seen on YouTube start out shooting his uh, chest with normal missiles. And then once that protective glass is blown off, then you want to switch to your super missiles. He 
blows fireballs, you basically just want to space jump like in like the middle portion of the wall. If you stay in the middle, you'll avoid the uh, his uh, fiery uh, breath there, his fireballs. So he usually just swipes and uses uh, his fireball uh, fireball attack in the beginning while the protective glass is still on his uh, weak point there. Once you blow it off, he'll start shooting lasers from his eyes and shooting missiles out of his back. And yeah, I make this fight a little... Uh, a little longer than expected. I'm not the best at aiming. I guess I'm doing an alright job, but... Damn, dude, enough with the fireballs. And if you walk to... Okay, I blew, the, I blew uh, the casing off, so this is where he starts shooting lasers from his eyes. There's the missiles. You still want to kind of space jump in the middle. Um, you'd want to switch over to your super missiles at this point, too, if you have any. Um, you still might get hit from the laser, but from what I've... My perspective, it's still good to kind of stay in the middle like the least likely place you'll get hit by the uh, laser eyes. I don't know, for some reason he keeps aiming diagonally up and down. Okay, he hit me there, but... keep missing with that second super missile so but sooner or later I can only get one out anyways it's like t once you blow off the casing you can like I don't know I can usually get two but after you hit them with a couple I don't know it's like the window decreases and you can only get them with one I don't know maybe I'm just not that good You don't want to run into his swipe, his claw, I guess, not his swipe, but his claw. If his claw, if his claw is simply just resting on the ground, if you run into it, it takes the same amount of, amount of damage as if he swipes at you. Screw that up. That is it. Size so begin to glow. And that triggers the self-destruct. Mechanism has been activated. Get the hell out. Now I'm not sure where you could shine spark, because there's like a quick way out of here. I'll actually power bomb and reveal the uh, speed booster blocks. I don't know, maybe I could practice, but um, there's a quicker way to evacuate by us. Uh, shine sparking. I haven't done it yet. I've seen people do it. It's over here, I think. Well, not here yet. Maybe it's here. Maybe it's... Maybe you could, like, run to the right there. 
there are speed booster blocks that you can drop down from. I don't know. I'll have to watch a video. Yeah, right there. There's the, yeah speed booster blocks right there. Then you'll notice all these ramps. So this is where you would have to speed uh, shine spark, and then stop on the ramps, and then you can you drop, and then you can shine spark all the way over to the right. It's a quick way out of this room. I wonder how much time they give you uh, during hard mode, during this evacuation. I'm sure it's not as long as, what was it, four minutes? So we're basically right here, we have to destroy the last couple space pirates, these silver or black ones, I don't know. They're kind of a bitch. That takes care of them, and here's our ship that we need to get into. And that's basically it. That is the game. <laughs> this is funny. Yeah, that's that's suicide there. You're not gonna stop that ship there, space pirate. Yeah, and there goes the mothership destroyed. That's what you get for destroying Samus' ship. That's it. Mission accomplished. Roll the credits. So I had an awesome time doing this game. Definitely took me back to the first one. Everybody that knows me knows that Metroid is one of my all-time favorite series. I plan on doing more games. I plan on probably going to do Fusion next. But I'm going to move on to a couple more. Maybe one of these days Nintendo will release the worldwide um, block on my Super Metroid Legend of Zelda crossover randomizer. That still baffles me. Alright, let's check out our percentage here. Little Samus and two Chozos. Little stick figurines. Okay. Oh, look at this, sexy Samus. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if that time's accurate. I let the game idle between episodes sometimes, but I don't know. I'll take it. 100%.
So I hope you en enjoyed this. Um, and I will bring you more Metroid very soon. So, like I've said, Metroid Fusion, expect that as my next playthrough. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you, uh, then. Thanks for watching my stuff, guys, as always, and catch you later.